We're making Southern style cornbread dressing with chorizo. We're gonna do it in our Pit Boss pellet smoker. I want you guys to have the best Thanksgiving you've ever had using your pellet smoker. And so this will be the first of three videos I'm gonna do. This will be your smoked side. We're gonna do a turkey and then we're gonna do a dessert all in a pellet smoker. So let's get started. The star of the show is this cornbread that I've already cooked. I use this store-bought stuff. I like this one the best. It's not too sweet. And basically all you gotta do is add two eggs, two thirds of a cup of melted butter and one and a thirds cup of milk. Just combine it all in a bowl and then I sprayed a tin foil pan with some cooking spray, dumped it in there, put it in the smoker at 350 degrees for about 45 minutes. And you can see here, I cut these up into chunks and I let them sit out on the counter for about a day and they're pretty dried out. I mean, there's still a little bit of moisture in there, but it'll be fine. If you can do it for two days, that would be the best. I just find that cutting it like this allows it to dry out quicker. So first step, is we gotta saute some onions. So I got about a half a cup of onion, half a cup of celery, about a tablespoon of prepared garlic. So let's get these into my cast iron pan. So I've just got some olive oil in here heating up. See if it's hot enough yet, yep. So in go the onions. Celery. And we just wanna cook these a couple minutes until they're nice and soft. So we'll stir this around. And I wanna go ahead and season this a little bit. So just some salt and pepper. And for my salt today, I'm gonna to use this hickory sea salt. Give it a little smoky flavor. Just a little bit. Just gonna add a little bit more oil. And now my prepared garlic, mix that in. It smells so good, like garlic and celery and onion. So the next thing we're gonna add is our chorizo. So this is actually chorizo, uh, I think it was Johnsonville. I cooked these up on the grill the day before. I wanna get a nice char on them, give it some little bit extra flavor. And then I just diced it up and divided it in half. So this is a half a pound. So let's get this in just to reheat it into our hot pan. Now, if you wanted to make a more traditional cornbread dressing, uh, you could use chicken. But these past couple of years, we like to add a little something spicy to it. So I'm just gonna incorporate this. All right, that's looking good. So now let's get back to our cornbread. We gotta dump in some of this chicken broth. So I'm gonna start with a 32 ounce container. If you've got your own chicken stock that you've made at home, go ahead and use that. Let's just start with about half. And we're gonna use this to help us break this down. You could crumble this in advance, but once it gets wet, it's gonna crumble anyways. You can see on the bottom here, as it starts to absorb that broth, it's gonna start falling apart. So we're just gonna keep working it. All right, so after a couple minutes, it gets really soft and just crumbles apart. And now we've got big pieces, little pieces, which is good. Next thing I'm gonna do, I always add poultry seasoning. So this has got thyme, sage, rosemary, nutmeg, a few other things. You're gonna use about a teaspoon to start. We'll taste this at the end to see if we need to add any more. I just like to add it now so I can see it as it hits. Give that a quick mix. Just a little bit more pepper, probably another teaspoon or so. A little bit more of our hickory sea salt. Give it that nice smoky kick. And now we're gonna add in our chorizo with our onions and celery. And we'll fold that in. Just like that. And now what we wanna do is start adding more chicken broth. We wanna take the texture of this dressing right to the edge of soupy, but not quite. So we're just gonna add slowly. So let's keep adding until we get to about the right consistency we want. 
So I know because I've made this before, we're going to need at least this whole container. But we'll add it slow just in case. So what I like to do from here, we just put in the fold container. I'm going to let it sit for about five minutes and then see how it looks then. And then we'll know how much more we need to add, if any. All right, it's been about five minutes and I can see that it needs just a little bit more broth. It's kind of hard to describe, but right now it's still a little too dry for my liking. So I'm going to add about a half a cup to start. We'll see how that gets it. Let's give it another mix. I think that's going to do it. So now let's give it a little taste test. Everything's been pre-cooked, so don't worry. And we just need to taste test it now for seasoning. Good on the salt, we don't need any more. I do think it needs a little bit more poultry seasoning, maybe about half a teaspoon. So let me add that real quick, and then we'll get this in a pan. All right, just gonna put it in. This is an aluminum pan. I've got some aluminum foil in here on top of it because I do like to reuse these sometimes. And uh, sprayed a little bit of cooking spray. Just dump this in. Spread it out nice and even. And let's get it in the smoker. Go right about the center rack. I'm gonna turn this up to 350 degrees and I've got my water pan about half full and it's gonna be so hot in there that water is gonna burn up real quick. So let's get the door closed. And we're gonna let this go for about 45 minutes to an hour. When it's done, it should have a nice brown top and it'll kind of pull back from the pan a little bit and most of that moisture should be out of there and then we're ready to eat. So we'll be back in about 45 minutes. All right, we're at about the 30 minute mark. I wanna show you guys the progress here. So you know what to expect. Water pan is almost uh, dried out. And I think I'm just gonna let it go. And our dressing is starting to look good. Starting to get a nice uh, brown crust on top. But if we jiggle the pan a little bit, you see it's still moving back and forth. For me, it's done when it stops moving. And I can still see some liquid pi uh, pooling up in the back corner there. So one thing that I'm gonna do just rotate our pan so that the back is now towards the front. Push that back in, close the door, and it's looking like we got at least another 15 minutes, probably more like a half hour until this is done. So we'll be back when it's ready to go. Our cornbread dressing is done. It took about an hour and 15 minutes to get it right where I wanted. So let's scoop a little bit of this out and give it a taste. All right, I can't wait for this. You'll notice here it pulled back from the edges. It got a nice brown crust on top. And hopefully if I did this right, when I scoop this out of here, we don't like it to stay in, in its shape. It should kind of be nice and soft, full of that broth and all those flavors. So let me just scoop myself out a little portion here. I can already tell it's perfect. Bam. So let's see what we got here. We got the celery, the onion, there's some chorizo, all that cornbread stuffing. So let me get a bite of this. Make sure I get plenty of chorizo on there. Here we go. That's got the perfect amount of flavor. Nice and moist. Now I know you guys would never make a dry turkey, but if you went somewhere that they had dry turkey, you would definitely want dressing like this. The only thing this needs now is some good gravy or a cranberry sauce over top would be good. So hey, if you like this video, check out this playlist right here. It's got a ton of good cornbread dressing videos, or you could check out this turkey video I did a couple weeks ago. It was a practice run and I'll see you over there.